In our last video, we talked about how Mercedes invented the acronym ADAS and, over time, developed more and more sophisticated ADAS features. In this video, we're going to talk about cameras and recalibration in Mercedes vehicles. Depending on the chassis and options, there could be two different kinds of cameras behind the windshield. Most basic systems have a single camera to handle lane keeping assist, active cruise control, and on later models, adaptive high beam assist. On later models with more advanced safety systems, Mercedes-Benz uses two cameras. The stereo multifunction camera module consists of two high resolution mono cameras mounted 200 millimeters apart in the same housing. One camera only estimates the distance to objects. The other camera measures the distance to an object at its height above the road. The camera can determine within 20 to 30 centimeters. The two cameras in the module can determine an object's motion along the horizontal, vertical, and longitudinal axis. This movement, along with object classification information, can decide if something is a potential safety situation. With information from other sensors like radar, the system can make a correction. Older systems use CAN or CAN2. New systems with stereo cameras output often use Flexray E to communicate. If the communication bus has issues related to low voltage, the system will be disabled. Cameras rarely fail. What does fail is the communication network or the defroster found in the windshield or body of the camera module. The heating element is there to prevent condensation inside the housing and on the windshield. If the heater fails, it will set a code and deactivate the system. The driver for the heater is typically part of the camera module. Rear or backup cameras are part of a module that uses a CAN bus to communicate. The module might also actuate the trunk lock. Some cameras are even motorized and pop out the TriStar badge when the car is put into reverse. Some rear camera systems require a static calibration with the target. Mercedes uses both dynamic and static calibrations for the front-facing camera. If you're performing a static calibration, preparing the vehicle is critical. Ensure the car is aligned with the steering angle set to zero and the thrust angle within specifications. Check the tire inflation and make sure there are no issues with the aromatic suspension or automatic headlights. Make sure the battery is healthy and won't die during the calibration. The area around the camera needs to be clean and the lighting needs to be bright enough. Also, make sure the area behind the targets is free of clutter that has reflective surfaces. No matter the supplier of your scan tool or target fixtures, follow all directions and steps. Don't get click happy. In our next video, we're going to talk about the various types of ADAS systems in the Mercedes. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching.